Hello everyone, and welcome back to another unboxing. Today's will be the Roots of Chaos two book set from The Broken Binding. Cannot wait to open this. This is definitely one of my most anticipated pre-orders for quite a while. So hopefully these came in decent shape. And at the end, I will also do a quick little comparison that shows um, the standard edition of at least one of the books, so you can actually see how many customizations there are to this, which I have quite a few. This year. Broken binding always does this. Hardly ever see anybody's books coming damaged from them, which is very nice. Alright, get rid of the paper. And on to the bubbles. Alright. Okay, so they're kind of bound together. In the ribbon and you can see that's how they did the sticker on the front so we'll just get this guy untied maybe hopefully I try not to destroy the ribbons because I actually reuse them oh there we go just need to loosen it a little bit I guess all right Undo all this lovely paper. Again, try to I try to reuse the paper in when I'm selling books and packing them, so a little bit of recycling involved. And of course the added benefit is that it prevents me from having to go pay for packing material, which it's never a bad thing, right? Tell it looks on the front, it looks exactly the same as the original Priory book. So we're just going to pull this one aside, move it to the end, and we will go over the Priory of the Orange Tree first. Show the front and the spine and the back. And we have orange sprayed edge on the top. And the bottom and some very nice stenciling on the edge here there is nothing inside the dust jacket you can see that's just plain but there's a nice foil design on the hardcover and we have looks like a quote on the spine here. I'll just kind of drag that up so you can read it. Still working on my lighting, so it's not perfect, although it is better. And here's the back. There is also, I believe, a ribbon bookmark. Yes, you can see that. Sticking out the bottom there now. There are some beautiful end papers here. And on the back. And this should be signed. I don't know if it's numbered, but I'm pretty sure it's signed. Okay, it's signed. And there's your signature page. All right, and now on to one of my most anticipated books for this year, A Day of Fallen Night. These editions look really great. They just come out incredible. So 
blue edge here and on the bottom and another beautiful design on the main edge here that came out really really well nothing on the inside of the dust jacket but again we have another foil design here on the hard cover and another quote Let's see if I can do this this way maybe uh, not really much better is it let's pull this back There's the back. These end papers are so nice. I can't believe how incredible these came out. I kind of went back and forth on whether or not I was going to buy them. And I know Illumicrate did editions as well. I think it was Illumicrate. But I decided to go with these ones and... I do not have any regret. You can see this has a ribbon bookmark as well. There is some scuffing to my bottom edge down here. It's kind of a bummer, but I'm sure I'm probably not the only one that had a little bit of something going on with the sprayed edges there. Sprayed edges rarely come out perfect. And there's your signature page. All right, so now we'll kind of show the other edition. I have pull these out here. So this is actually a signed copy was the original copy I have, but and you can see right away, I mean, first of all, the hardback itself is blue and obviously there's nothing on it. Uh, there's no quote or anything on the spine either. It's just the name of the book and the author like usual. No end papers, just plain white page. But it was, like I said, it was a signed copy. Just like that. So, I mean, you can see that there was a lot of differences and a lot of customizations to the new, the new editions that they put out. So that was A Day of Fallen Night in the Priory of the Orange Tree from the Broken Binding. Broken Binding has incredible editions of books and their customer service is excellent and the books actually get to you in one piece. So... They're definitely worth checking out if you're in the market for some signed copies of books. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay tuned, because there'll be plenty more unboxings coming. I think I have at least three things on the way just from Fairy Loot and something from Illumicrate. So in the next seven to ten days, there'll be a lot more videos.